What is up YouTube? Florida Man Knives here with another quick unboxing video. Now what I'm opening this with might give a little bit of a hint on what it's going to be. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Gonna obviously cut the tape here around the edges using my Bradley Camaro V3. With 154 CM steel, I'll be doing a definitely a long-term review on that. Excuse me, struggling here for a minute. And you can see how I butcher this box. <laughs> what we've got here. This is going to be the Boker Plus Balisong, made in the USA, newly released. This was just delivered to me yesterday. Ordered it from Blade HQ, and here we go. I'm really excited for this, as it's gonna be a live version of the red training ballast song if you guys are familiar with that i'll be throwing that up here in this video for sure huge fan of that and i'll be doing a long-term review on that as well but right away comes in the same case as the red trainer if you're familiar and then it should be yep positioned right there got your typical boker product cards but Getting into it. Let's see if it's just like the red one. All right, I love that. That is one thing for the price of this. I mean, you can't complain. It, you know, right away, I'm a big fan of clips on ballast lungs. Most people are not. I like it because it's just makes sure that I know where the live blade handle is all the time. But one gripe I actually do have with my Bradley is that you have to manually unlatch the clip and that's really no big deal you know you get used to it with your pinky but right away something I was you know hoping this would maintain from the red trainer is the fact that you just squeeze the handles and the latch will fly open already feels identical to the trainer now, what's really, really exciting about this comes razor sharp, actually, but the, right there, D2 steel. I am very excited about this. I have actually not used a knife with D2 before, um, or I have used one. This is my first one owning D2 steel, I should say. Really cool looking blade as well. You can see They actually did some nice crowning on the uh, edge of this blade here. I was really curious to see how that was going to be in person. I mean, that is really smooth. So, you know, when it hits against your hand, of course, you're not going to really feel it. Now, just some quick specs on this guy. This, the overall length is going to be 9 inches. The blade length is going to be 4 inches, and as you can see real quick. The cutting edge on this is going to be just over three and a half inches. You see right here, coming out about 3.625. The blade is going to be pretty thin, a little bit harder to tell with how the edges are rounded off. That's going to be 0 0.12 inches in your blade thickness. And then your handle length is going to be five inches, of course. But black G10 handles right here, I mean, feels absolutely identical to the trainer. Got your pocket clip right here. This is the larger version. Um, so Boker recently released uh, four new live blade ballast songs. 
So you're gonna have your two four inch models. The one is gonna be a uh, solid G10 through here and the pins are not exposed. And then you're gonna have a uh, shortened blades. I, I believe it's in the three and three quarters range, but don't quote me on that. That's gonna be the same thing. One with the skeletonized handles and then one with the solid handles. But I went with the bigger model just to make it identical to the trainer that I have, which I'm obviously very used to, really love. I'll be doing a direct comparison video between these two and seeing really just how similar it is. But overall, this is fantastic. I mean, for the price, $86, guys. You know, I, I know that all you Balasong snobs out there are gonna hate this thing probably. You know, I mean, in the budget range, most people love the Kershaw Lucho, which is a little bit long for my liking. You know, I'm definitely a fan of the, the Bradley cutlery made by Bear Ops here. 154 CM steel, crazy sharp. But you can see that the Boker is gonna be a little bit longer than the Bradley overall. And as far as the weight of this guy, should be coming in just under four ounces, or five, excuse me. And yep, 4.94 ounces. So pretty much right on the money there. Everything on the inside is crowned right here. I mean, for an $86 Balasong, you know, pretty good craftsmanship overall. You know, one thing you will have to watch out for on this is gonna be your screws coming loose, of course. Might wanna double check those, maybe put some Loctite in there, but definitely need to do a little bit of adjusting on this. You can see out of the box, they're a little bit tight, but <laughs> rather that than them falling out, right? So definitely gonna be much better than your cheap ballast songs on Amazon, much better than your bare brothers and, and everything like that that's going to be in your $30 range so I really really recommend this guys already I mean I'll definitely do a, a long-term review but if it holds up as the Balasong trainer from Boker does which I expect it to I will have absolutely no complaints and I tell you what guys I mean I got this Bradley on sale for 106 uh, usually is about 115 the Kershaw Lucha I want to say is about 120 ish I mean, $86 for D2 steel, I mean, <laughs> you can't beat it. I, I, I just am finally, finally they brought this to the market. I am so happy. You know, with the new rule that all live blade ballast songs must be made in the USA that, you know, came out several years ago, it's really put a, a limit on the number of affordable ballast songs you could get. And you know, I would love to have a, a $400 bench made, but I, I just can't justify that. But $86 for this, this is fantastic. I, I highly recommend, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll be posting more videos on this ballast song, comparing it to the trainer as well as my Bradley, and perhaps some other models. You know, you know I've got your Squiddy right here. Sorry, I just love the Squiddy, guys. But anyways... Thanks for watching and click the like button and subscribe.